So just as a heads up, I haven't played Paladins in a really long time, and this is all new to me. So it looks like there's now in-game uh, text chats, so like, I guess if you have a keyboard on console, or something like that, like a USB keyboard plugged in, it seems like you can talk to people in your group, so that's pretty cool, through uh, text. Kinda odd console Overwatch doesn't have that yet, it seems like they've been due, f you know, due for it for a long time. But it's pretty cool to be checking this out. I've done gameplay of Paladins and I've done guides, but I don't think I've ever done a live commentary like I have for Overwatch, so... I wanted to try that out. I haven't played in, uh, I don't know how many months, four or five at least, and even then I was playing sort of on and off with, uh, friends. Yeah, I had a friend on the Switch version, we would play Paladin sometimes, and uh, it was the only thing we really had besides Splatoon, and we didn't really like Splatoon that much, so we just decided to play this. Not a bad decision. And another friend on Twitter, um, at Starlight SSB, yeah, I played with her uh, a few games a while back. So it straight up gave me the flank category. That's weird. I wonder why. Event. <laughs> Look at the bottom right. Event message ID. Uh, a bunch of letter or a bunch of numbers and then not. Must be a bug. So I wonder what's going on. I wonder why it just straight up showed me the flank category. And I figure now for people like me who are in a party chat that. God, I really hope my team can't hear me right now. So it seems like for people like me who are in a party chat, there's a uh, there's a way to communicate with the lobby with your team, and then there's a party chat, uh, text chat, so that's cool. I'm just going to be playing Buck because before I stopped playing, he was uh, my best pick. Maeve fell off pretty heavily. They nerfed her hard. And... Uh, People were figuring out how to deal with flankers, so she's just really stressful to play. It's not a matter of like trying to make her work, it's more a matter of her being really frustrating and stressful to play. To the point where I just I go on straight up tilt and I get mad. So it still shows uh, everyone's levels in the lobby. I kinda don't like that feature. I feel like it should be uh, taken away. I don't know, I, feel, I don't feel like, I think it's kind of cool to be able to see other people's levels, but I feel like it causes more toxicity or doubt than anything positive. The paladins and magistrate have come to fight for powers they don't understand, but who will emerge victorious? So this is the current event, I don't know what's going on. Time remaining. Okay, so I guess this is a waiting room. Right, yeah, like in the normal game. Hello. So R1 is uh, jump, L1 is recovery, L2 is net, R2 is primary fire. As long as I know all that, I should be able to play Buck again. Or can I still like view my character in third person? Yeah. The tear has moved. Just a word we choose to ignore. I've got a friend. First blood, like it's nothing. Oh, my God. I don't know what's up with the gravity. What is this Victor doing? Oh my god, the gravity. The tear is relocating. Cooldowns all slow and time runs fast. Oh 
Oh my fuck, I just straight up fed. My bad. Yeah, that was kind of terrible of me. I just let that victor fuck me up, but he also kind of just shot me through a wall. But I have to get used to that, that's just sort of how Paladins works. Should help out my, uh, I wish I could have got there. Could have gotten there faster. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I gotta buy lots of cauterize. Okay. Sort of my fault for forgetting that you could buy items. That was like one of the main appeals of this game and I completely forgot about it. I did not want to jump that far in. So I guess in this mode, like, gravity... Low gravity is a normal thing. I don't really like that in first-person shooters. I like mobility options, but I think, like, heavily committal gravity is kind of ridiculous. I guess I'll do this to get credits. Oh, and I can just buy items whenever. I guess I'll save it for Cauterize 3. Oh, someone's flanking. What is the enemy team doing? What the fuck? Killing spree. I love Buck, he's just bullshit, the character. I guess I'll just go in while I can. Oh, come on, let me up the thing. I should have just, uh, I'm being a little too aggressive. I was just trying to take advantage of the infinite ammo for my ult. But I have money for this. I'm not sure what I want to get next. I'm, the, the credits are kind of wasting right now, but I want to sit and think on my decision. I'm going to flank if I can. Oh fuck, okay, a Strix is looking at me. Makes sense. I'm gonna get this for the Strix and just their team in general. Damage reduction is gonna be huge and I'm just kinda like, I shouldn't have five deaths, it should be like two or three. I'm playing kinda terribly. You're there, Strix, somewhere. God. Terrible play on my part. I'm gonna get Chronos so I can have my uh, cooldowns more often. That is.
probably the best one for bu uh, Buck. Yeah. And oh my fuck, our <laughs> Nari dragon thing is going in. Amari, I think. I want to push on them, but it's hard because they, their whole team is there. All right, just wait to heal. Damn it. Their team is playing extremely conservative. And it's like, they're not... not too shy. It's annoying because I want to push them, I want to fight, I want to get kills and stuff like that. I don't want to be a fucking complete feeder. I am the master of the hunt. But... Their team, like, they're grouped together, but they just, they have no presence. They're just playing really passively. And it's kind of annoying because it does nothing for them, but it also prevents me from playing the way I want. It's like, it does nothing for them. And it's just a little annoying for me trying to, like, do well as Buck and kind of show off the character and not fucking feed gameplay-wise, because that's that's less entertaining to watch. Unless it's unless there's salt. But it takes a lot to crack me after uh, working on my patience. I could have just played point two and they, they would have to approach and then I could just go in on them for a uh, touching point. Let's see. So I guess I can still see match history, but it's like... I did... Eh, I could have done a lot better. I definitely got carried a little. I'm not really feeling this mode. I don't like it. But I guess I'll see. I guess, like, maybe I should uh, play a bit differently or work on a different hero. Because Victor might be really good. I can see Victor being good with the long sight lines. So maybe I should play him. And yeah, it says press enter to chat, so, uh... Where the fuck is Victor? Is this limited heroes? Or something? Like, yo, why won't it play? let me play Victor? What the fuck? I have all the characters unlocked. Like, I bought the uh, Founders Pack uh, years ago, and I've always been able to play all the characters, so maybe it gives each team a limited pool? I don't know. If that's the case, I'm kind of off-put from playing this at all, to be honest. Maybe after this game, I'll... Uh, do some siege and uh, other modes. Yeah, Victor's another hero that I was doing really well with before I stopped playing the game. Uh, after Maeve just dropped off heavily and became a lot more difficult to make work. And it's just like tilting. Like, I feel like I get more reward out of other characters for like not having to use my brain as much. Maeve gets hard punished for even just wanting to do her game plan at all. Event message ID. There it is again. Paladin still uh, held together by glue and duct tape, I see. A tear in reality has appeared, distorting everything around it. Once again, the Paladins and Magistrate have come to fight for powers they don't understand. But who will emerge victorious? I guess it makes sense to have a limited character pool because maybe they want to get da uh, data on these characters? Because it seems like there's no theming among them. 30 seconds remaining. What are they running? Saris, immediate cauterize. Seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight. Ooh, seven, buck kind of thick. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And here we. Twelve minutes. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna play on uh, this right side here. 
Oh my god. Who was holding W? So there was another person shooting at me. What the fuck? Is this uh is that Ash a bot or something? She was kinda of firing at nothing. I don't know what the fuck this new character is, but they seem overpowered as fuck. What the fuck? Stop trying to burst fire me, bitch. Yeah, why is the Ceres focused on damaging me? She should be healing her teammates. Don't know what he was doing, but I'll take it. What the fuck? My movement feels like it's uh, up. Oh my god. What is with the enemy team's positioning? Enemy killing spree. Smashing my uh, heal. Can I not heal during my ult? So I guess they lowered um, what's it called? Death Tans cost by a lot. Why is why is my team being toxic in chat? Yeah, that Ash is really annoying. I wish I could do something about her. Fuck. I can see why my team's being toxic now. What the fuck are, like, half of them doing? Oh, fuck.
what the fuck was she doing there? What? I should have healed sooner, but like, why is she on a wild flank like that? I don't get this game. Enemy killing spree. What the fuck? Why is she moving so fast? Is it nimble? What? How did they? What? Why is there a whole team there? I I don't understand. I don't get this game. Yeah, do we, it feels like I just don't have a team right now. I don't know what my team's up to. Uh, is there a report feature on console? I wonder, because I want to report this person for sure. Hey, look at me, please. I hate people who do this shit. Especially in Paladins, you can't just leave a game like in uh, Overwatch Quick Play. You know what, I'm just gonna farm my stats and not even worry about it. Try and find people going for reckless 1v1s and kill them. Fuck team shooters, this, this is like the kind of people they encourage. To just come on, get online and be an asshole. Oh man, I was gonna try and at least kill the victor, get my stats up. That's so shitty, why do people do that? Like this is a problem in Overwatch 2, but it's just... Like why do this? Why not just like... I, I understand it's frustrating, I understand you can't leave the game or whatever, but like... You could at least close your app and get replaced by a bot and be less petty than that. And like, do something else. I swear people in this game are fucking pathetic. Like, people straight up throw games if they get unhappy, or to just like, get a reaction out of people. I did better than my whole team by at least twice as much, so that's probably why they threw. Wow. Is there like a way to uh, report or avoid this person? R3. Intentional feeding? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So I can report people if they're uh, throwing games. And it, it's really shitty that people just do that. Like, no matter how frustrated are you are, you really shouldn't be throwing in these types of games. Like, you're affecting the experience of four or five other people. Team Deathmatch. Choose your champion. Victor. I love this skin and this, uh, the gun skin too, this combination. The hell's going on in the background with those rifts? I guess it uh, has something to do with the recent event. But yeah, I'm not feeling that mode. I don't like that it limits the hero pool a lot. And I don't even like... I guess it throws a bunch of heroes on one side and a bunch on the other. And then it's like, hey, make a team comp out of this. But I don't like that. I like having a uh, freedom of choice for my heroes. I like being able to play both uh, Buck and Victor. And like whoever else I feel like that day. Yeah, it's, it's petty. Like, even if you don't like your teammates, even if you're just having a bad game or a bad day, like, just instead of throwing your game, just either play it through to the end, or if it's like this game, because in this game, on PlayStation, or I guess on PC too, and Xbox, I'm guessing, uh, if you close your app, you're going to get replaced by a bot. The bots suck, but some of them are better than the others. Like, the Ash bot is kind of a bitch. And, uh, they'll at least play the game. And while it does hinder your team, it's not as bad as being an asshole and intentionally griefing and spawn. Like, preferably you should always play out your games, and then if you just, if you if you end up like wanting to throw really bad, then just just hop off and play something else. Like, play a non-team based game, play play an RPG or something, play I don't know, solos in Fortnite or something, we will fight. or like go into the training mode with the bots. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ten, nine, I'm guessing Victor might have gotten heavily nerfed seven, with the grenade talent, six, so I'm worried. Five, it looks like it. Four, it looks three, like they removed the bonus damage. Two, one. And is this R1 still Here sprint? Yeah, it is. Okay, so L1's grenade. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Relax. There's a reveal uh, okay. right there. Man, okay. So what should I buy here? Hmm. Just a trip. I'm thinking Haven. Group up. Yeah. Group up. It looks like I hit something, but I didn't get the cooldown reduction for it. So I can't tell. Can't tell where it, like... Strix is stealth based, so I gotta watch out for him. I'm kinda just, like... Spy checking him. Where the fuck is he? Oh, fuck. So there's an Droxus, too. Yeah, I'm having trouble just spotting these enemies. Oh, fuck. I was trying to turn around and run. I don't know what was stopping me. Enemy killing spree. Can't tell where the Strix is. Oh, 
enemy oh my god. Yeah, I'm trying to understand what this enemy team's thought process is. Enemy rampage. What the fuck's going on over here? Oh, it's uh that guy. Oh man. Yeah, this is rough. I should just stick with my team. And it looks like there's a visual bug. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my run. It's do or die. I had to do or die. Fuck. These enemies are really good at just hunting me. Enemy killing spree. Aw, oh, man. I really shouldn't be aiming in third person, but I was just trying not to die and do as much as I could. Not doing too hot, admittedly. Fuck. I don't know what it is. We're just getting fucked. They got two of us. Yeah, that's it. That was kind of a pathetic game, unfortunately. Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon probably kicked my ass, and I'm okay with that. Wait, there was an ash? I didn't notice. Huh. I didn't know there was an ash. I genuinely didn't know there was an ash in the game. I, I, wait, are those golds? Yeah, look at those, like, they're gold colored. Are they like medals in Overwatch? Let's see. Yeah, my damage was, I didn't do well, but I still had better stats than the rest of my team. That's concerning. I've got about 20 or so minutes left, so I can do a few, like, do one or two more. Unfortunately, it's just been basically all shitty games uh, as of recording, but I guess like uploading this gives a true view of what team shooters are like, because I go through this a lot in Overwatch, I go through this uh, in this game too. Just why I'm kind of like, I love the characters, I love like a lot of what you can do in them, but Choose your champion. there's just so much making it unenjoyable. Like you just feel like you don't have, you, you get all these wonderful characters that have all these cool abilities that do so much and like make you feel like you have control and then I don't know in game like once you're actually playing even if you're doing well it just feels like you don't have much control over the game since there's nine other players or in overwatch cases 11 in the lobby so there's only so much you can do it wants everyone to feel uh feel like a god but like it's when you do that to 10 to 12 people in a game, it's just... It doesn't always work out.
Customize your champion. It feels good to relax after a long day of being a dumb bitch. <laughs> and it's like a Pikachu in a bathtub with like big titties covered up by the bubbles and then just feet. It just looks like <laughs> they didn't even try to humanize it. It's fucking Pikachu. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's amazing. That's hilarious too what they do in Paladins where they uh they don't have splash art for someone so they'll just do like a derpy looking pose of their model. I still like Shrapnel most. I don't really see the uh wait what what is their team running? Should I go for hmm I like the precision on the gun, but I feel like having uh more durability during sprint is nice cuz uh the other one, the other right, Victor right, build right. I have Relax gives uh, damage reduction during sprint a lot of it and I think a little more health I'm not sure but this one is like focused on using both the iron sights and the grenades and pumping out a lot of damage and getting like so the grenades just have a lot of raw damage and then the iron sights is when I need to confirm kills or when my grenades are off cooldown alright let's go fuck let's not go Someone's chasing me. Uh, okay. Who was holding W? There we go. Alright, so there's an Andrew up there. I better go chase him. Did he drop down? Yeah. God, third person is- oh fuck, help! Oh fuck. <laughs> I gotta see this. He just- he body blocked me really hard. I figured he would hit me with that, so uh... Getting two havens, and do I need cauterize? Doesn't look like it, maybe. Cause Ying Zolt is still gonna be really good. Even if she uh, even if her team doesn't stand by the uh, puppets. Or replicas, I mean. Alright. Now to relax and regenerate my health. Wanna go for a big ult. Oh fuck, I had a Sky that was really on me. I guess she might have some sort of mobi uh, mobility buffs, yeah. So I gotta watch out for that. Enemy killing spree. And I guess it was just me dicking around too long.
Oh my god, please. Yes. that Kobe. The Kobe shot. Alright, time to flank. Here. It's gonna be safer up here. God. <laughs> it was a gamble. What should I get? Kill the heal, maybe? Cauterize. I don't know what I should get. Fuck it. I'll get some kill to heal. There's really nothing else I need for their team, and it's almost the end of the game. And that's a victory. Okay, I guess. Did I get it? Ah, oh, almost. So yeah, it was nice to have at least one good game for a big string of shitty games. I guess they must have been the bomb. Oh no, they were just doing good damage. Oh, that was me. No, wait, no, that was the other one. Other victory. I had a pretty good barrage, but uh, that game was more so a sh like a showcase of Victor's solid fundamental play. You're going to die no matter what in a team shooter. I did die a few times, but sort of going for kills and you know you can get them, trying to pump out a lot of damage, and then playing back when you see the enemy team get any sort of momentum. That's basically how you play Victor pretty well. Oh, scoreboard. Oh my... Uh, I got carried. That's embarrassing. Well, they don't have as many assists. Yeah, I, I got a little carried, if I'm being honest. I feel like I played well, though. Hmm. What screen should I... There's no, like, really cool splash art I can go to, I imagine. End times. Oh, God, it's just in my face. Huh. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some Paladins. If you have any character suggestions or any games you want me to play, let me know. And yeah, I'll just end it here.